Well, good morning, Holler Hill Homestead fans. Hey, guys. It's been a while, but... We've got a big project ahead of us today. So you all know that we're planning on moving up to Alaska in June. Well, in order to do that, we have to take a lot of shit with us. Yep. This right here is going to take a lot of that shit with us. So our goal today is we are going to start working on this from everything from grinding to painting. Caitlin's going to do boards. We're going to wire. We're going to do all kinds of things to this, but it's not going to be done in a day. No, this is a big project. So we picked up this trailer frame for $300, and it was just a motorhome trailer frame. They'd taken the motorhome off, and we thought that we could just slap boards on it, and it would be good. No, not even close. Found so. out that we were entirely wrong. It takes a lot more work. So actually, this thing has been up at my boss's place for... How long? A couple months. A couple months. Oh, and by the way, shout out to Derek Soto. You're a fucking bomb. Derek, you're great. Uh, so he's been welding up supports on this. Uh, he put the fenders on for us. Oh, fenders. Those things. Um, we bought the fenders. He put them on. He put on the railing around the edge. I am backwards pointing. Uh, he built those ramps up there which he built a bracket for, so they'll attach to the front. Um, so structurally now it's all sound, but the rest of the work is up to us. So these boards that are behind me on this thing are not attached right now. We just laid them on there. Uh, we got to get those measured and cut and stained. I'm going to be working on that. And then pre-drilling, um, I'm going to start working on grinding because as you can see, there are some very sharp corners. So I'm going to be grinding and sanding and clearing off the rust. And We're going to paint the frame. Once the deck boards are cut and ready and everything's pre-drilled and they're stained, then kind of last thing, we'll attach the deck boards down. But And then the very last thing I'll be doing is from toe to end, I'm going to be completely wiring this thing in for trailer brakes, for lights, and everything. Yep, so this is going to haul our tractor up to Alaska, which we think is going to be a, a huge resource for us up there. Um, and some of our other bigger equipment. Um, so, stay tuned. Well, we're going to have this all day long, so see you guys later. Bye.
smooth as a baby's butt. Very nice, babe. It's our board. Hey, we should leave that on the trailer. It'll be labeled as ours. Bam! Like a glove. Okay, so these are not stained yet and they still need to be attached down, but we were just getting a layout, making sure our measurements were all right. And I gotta say, I didn't do too bad. may not have looked like um, a whole lot of work for you guys, but we're what? Five, Five and a half hours, hours into, into this. this. Um, as you can see behind us, the whole decking for the trailer has been stained and ready to go. Yep, cut it all the size. We um, put it out on the trailer to make sure everything was gonna fit. And fit like a glove. That was me. That was you. And then, um, you know, with normal construction projects, obviously Ryan had to take a break and go to the hardware store because we needed some stuff we didn't have. And again, living outside of town royally sucks sometimes because it's a 35 minute drive into town. I had to run into town to get a couple things and then come back. So that took like an hour and a half that I couldn't be doing this project. Yeah, so I just stayed behind and worked on staining. Uh, we finally got all that done. Ryan has just a little more grinding to do and I'm going to start sanding the rust on the trailer uh, and then we should be ready for paint on the frame, right? Uh, well, yeah, because I'm going to go through and 
uh, wire brush some of the heavy stuff and hopefully yeah yeah we might we we have tomorrow to work on this too hopefully we'll get to paint today so that by tomorrow things will hopefully be dry and we can move on to the next step yep so i'm just keeping you guys updated all right love you guys Hey guys wow it is now that. six o'clock we've been doing this since 10 30 this morning so yep. you go figure we are dirty we are sore we're beat up we're black and blue we're bleeding or at least i am i'm not you didn't do your job right then um the sanding the grinding the rough brushing is done yeah so we didn't get to paint today um but we got everything prepped for paint. So there was a lot of rust on this thing. We had to grind off. It took hours. Um, but we're done with that. Uh, we're going to give it a good cleaning tomorrow. And then give it a paint. Start painting. <laughs> I think so. I've got rust in my lungs. <coughs> well, it's been fun. It's been real. But it has been real fun. So we'll see you tomorrow. Love Bye, you guys. Bye, guys. Well, it's day two of working on this trailer. Uh, our first step today is we are going to get these tires taken off. Um, these are actually gonna be our spare tires. We have uh, another set of rims come in uh, that's gonna get brand new tires on it. Those are gonna be our tires for the drive. We're gonna mount these on this trailer as spares. So we gotta get them pulled off. We gotta blow this thing off because we grinded it yesterday and it is covered in rust. So we're gonna get it all cleaned up and then we should be ready for paint. Watch you for a reason, fucker. Nice. We'll leave one on until we're ready to pull it off. We gotta jack this up. I told you, there was a reason I wanted this gun. Right tool for the job, right? Yep. Now imagine driving up there, tire blows. We have to do this by hand. Fuck no. guys as you can see we got the rims off we're up on blocks we're total rednecks now have a trailer in our yard up on blocks now Caitlin's gonna go ahead and blow it
the lighting isn't the best for this, but she's all painted up. We're gonna let it dry and then maybe just do a little bit of touch up. It's looking pretty slick.